Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to my channel, Jewelry Pirate. This is Barbara. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. I hope you will enjoy being a part of the Jewelry Pirate family. And um, let's do this. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Very important. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe if you're watching the channel and you're not already subscribed. Give it a try. And comment if you see something you like. Um, and also, don't forget to hit the bell in case you'd like to be notified when I upload a new video. All right, um, last night I couldn't sleep and I came out and tried to do a video. And no matter what I did last night, everything just didn't go right. So hence, that's why I have all this jewelry sitting out here, because I did the video partially, and then I tried it again, and so forth and so on. So anyway, this batch, I still have a little bit more down here by me. Um, I sort it, okay? And uh, we're going to go through this first, and if there's some time... I will turn around and I will add some more. If not, I'll do another part to the video. Um, there's a few really pretty things in this lot. And uh, I hope you, you enjoy it. Um, so let's get started. Okay? And again, don't forget that to smash that thumbs up button. All right. I have a watch. And this is the strangest watch I've ever seen in a lot of ways. It's very small. If you have a... A tiny wrist, okay, all right, It like me, it'll fit you just fine. I have it on upside down. Now, you're going to notice that there's numbers missing, okay? Well, they are not there, but they're not missing, okay? Um, I think because of the way the watch is designed, um, they just couldn't put the numbers in that small space. If you notice the the, the face is square, but then there's indentations. Now, this is, um, it's got a mother of pearl face. It's really pretty. It's a gorgeous lilac color. Um, it looks almost brand new. Um, I, one side of the face, um, the rhinestones, it's going to be hard to see this, but one, one side of the face, the rhinestones are pink, and the other side of the face, the rhinestones are clear. This is a Geneva Elite. So this is one of their better watches, okay? And again, don't forget about your watches as a fashion accessories. Um, this is a very pretty lilac color. And um, it's in excellent condition. I don't think... It's another case of where somebody got the watch, pulled the, set it, you know, pulled the stem out, set it, and let the, the watch run until the battery ran dead so um i'll have to check that out but uh there you go you can see that very pretty mother of pearl face all right so we have that all right now we have i think that this is definitely lucite it feels like lucite all right um it's a very nice bangle okay it's really beautiful and it is weighty. It's all white inside. Okay, and then it has the um, um, pattern, I think, on the white part. All right, and then it's covered in the clear. It's very thick. It's got a lot of weight to it. This is a darn pretty bangle. Um, this will fit, I say, a medium to a large wrist. Okay, it is very pretty. All right, nice pattern. Kind of reminds me of some abstract artwork that you would have seen from the 60s. So I like this. All right, I'm going to go through these other bangles that are here to get rid of them. Um, we have a very, very bright yellow. Um, this one, I would say, is a small to medium. Um, it's... Uh, three quarters of an inch wide all right it's very nice there's no flaws or anything with it no scratching 
very pretty, pretty bangle. It is a little bit brighter yellow than what you're seeing in the camera. I'll let you know that. Now we have, I think, pretty much the exact same thing. Um, let me see here. Yes, yeah, three quarters of an inch and the same size, only this one is in a very pale, pale pink. This one's very pretty, too. Again, no scratches. Um, you know, there's, um, you know, um, it needs to be wiped down just like everything else that you get. But this is a very nice, nice bangle also. Don't forget, we're in January, but spring is coming. So we got these great spring colors here. Now, this one was a Kmart special. It was original at $9.99. Um, and this, everything's here, here with this. It's very pretty. Again, this is small to medium. All right, it's got all those rhinestones um, set inside. There's not one missing. And the pink on this is a little bit darker than the pink on that other bangle. And this one here is one and a quarter inches wide. Again, this is a very pretty bangle. It's got bling. It has weight. It's not a cheap piece. Even though it came from Kmart, it's in good shape. So, there you go. We have that. Okay, our next item is this pretty hot pink watch. Um, this is a Maru Max watch. It's quartz. Um, I like this watch. Uh, it has a magnifying face, and you can see how the face is upset, okay, into an emerald cut. Very, very pretty watch. All the rhinestones are there. Again, same problem. Take out the... Uh, the thing that, you know, keeps the, the watch from running. Um, the back of the face, the plastic is still on there. And uh, very, very nice watch. Very good condition. Never been worn. So you want something that's really hot pink. Different. This watch has weight to it. It's not a light watch. And there's only one... Let me see here. Yes, there's only one number on the face. And it's that giant nine. From what I can see. Nope, oh, there's a three on the other side. Okay. And look, let's lump some of the, the um, marks on our lightning bolts. So this is an interesting, very interesting watch. All right. Again, Marco Ru. Maru. No, 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 no. Maru Max. I'm sorry about that. All right. So we got that. Okay. Let's see what we have here. I have a, I think this is porcelain. I'm pretty sure. Um, it's very pretty. Um, it's a little brooch. I think it's it's um, um, somebody had this piece of porcelain, and I think that they just took and they put a pin back on it. This has weight. Okay. Um, this is a very pretty, very delicate flower, and it's got all the gold going around the whole outside of the the pin. Um, Probably a little bit larger than a silver dollar, but very nice. All right, let's put that over there. Let's do the other pin that's in here. All right, this is in a rose gold tone. And um, that's a little pair of angel wings, all encrusted in rhinestones. This is very pretty also. Okay, and uh, there's the back. Come on, baby. All right, and there you go. Very pretty. Okay, let's see what we got here. Do we do... Oh, we have... Okay, let me do these pair of earrings. These are a big pair of monstrous clip-back earrings with, um, I don't know, you know, I, th I think they're acrylic, but they're cool to the touch. These are big, beautiful... Um, they're purple, but the purple that they are, the purple's on a pink to purple side. All right, they're huge. Um, let's see, from top to bottom, let me see here. They are just about, they are. These are two inches from top to bottom. So, these are very nice. And there's your backing. Great condition. 
Um, I don't see a name on them, but you want something big and you want to make a statement when you go out, these are the earrings for you. Now we have, um, this is seen somewhere. There's a couple little scratches that are on it, but it's not a new piece. Um, there's some oxidation on it. This is a brooch. Okay, you can see right there there's a little bit of scuffing on it. Here's the back. It's got some weight. It's, you know, I'm, I'm pretty amazed. You have a heart, and then you have a very small emerald cut. Now, this purple here tends to be more to the purple-blue side. Um, so, but this is, I mean, if you can get by with just having a couple of little, um, little marks right there, um, which, like, most of the time, when it's just head-on, you don't see them. And, um... And it's an older piece, so, okay, um, I like this. All right, let's do this pair of earrings. These are wood. Somebody took these and made these, I think. Um, they're very lightweight. They're hand-painted. Okay, they're really, really, really nice earrings. Let me show you the back. Okay, so you can see that they were painted. All right, these are pretty, and these, for the size of them, you'll probably never know how big they are when you put them in your ear because they're lightweight, and the colors on these are very, very pleasing, very appealing. All right, now, we have a really pretty pair of, these are shepherd hooks, and let me see here. Yeah, these are not magnetic. They are copper. All right, let me hang these out here in front of you. All right, they're articulated. All right. Okay, very pretty, and they're diamond cut. Okay, let me see. Let me get back here. Okay, the noise you hear is... My little baby there, Padme, she's um, having one of her episodes today with her uh, problem with her trachea. So this is just something that we have to work through. She's going to be getting some medication later. So um, she's, there we go. You okay, baby? Poor sweetheart. Yes, you're such a good girl. So anyway, that's her doing her thing. All right, let's um, go to another pair of earrings. Um, these are enamel. I love all the colors in this stuff. These need backs, which, of course, I will put on. These are huge. These are, I would say, about a silver dollar size. These are really pretty. Black with all the different colors. Again, another item that's going to be awesome for spring. All right. Go get a drink of water, Mama. All right, so here you go. We have those. Um, I have a little pin here, but I'm not I'm not offering it because it's it's made out of pot metal and a lot of stones are missing. So I'm going to harvest what's left in here of this. So I mean, it just it's so I can't even explain it. The pot metal is. Well, all right, another pair of enameled earrings. These are very pretty. These also need backs. Um, let me see if I can get these on my hand right so you can see them the way they're supposed to be worn. These are very, very, very pretty. Um, they have uh, pinks and blues, and uh, it's almost like they have a, a, a um, some kind of um, like spray going up. Nice enameled earrings. There's the back. Let me show you what the back looks like. Okay, so there's those. Let's put those over there. And we're going to do another pin. And this is, um, I don't know what this, really what this is, what it represents. Um, it has a little weight to it. It's not bad. All right. Okay, it's got a crown in the back, in the front. And this is what the back looks like. I mean, it's not overly heavy, but it's not a real cheap, you know, lightweight piece of jewelry. It does have weight, and the colors on there are blue, 
green, and red. I think, and the red seems to be more a reddish orange. So, very different little brooch. Okay, we have another pair of enameled earrings. These are very pretty. These got some weight to them. Here we go. Now, these are posts, so they're not going to dangle. Um, they're just going to sit on your ear. So, I can't show you what they're going to do because they're basically just going to lay there. They're not going to do anything. All right, nice condition. Good enameling. I don't see any chips. All right, we have those. I have another little... I have a maple leaf pin. This is just with a pin back on it. This is very cute. Enameled. Again, the enameling is in great shape. There's the back. All right. Nice little pin. It probably represents maple leaf. Probably represents um, maybe Canada. Okay. Or represents the um, maple syrup industry. Nice. Okay. All right. For those of you that collect pin backs. All right, these are really sweet, these earrings. Um, they're, they're not heavy. Uh, there's a lot to them. They're very colorful. And here you go. Beautiful flowers with a pearl in the middle of them. Um, lots of coloring. Lots and lots and lots of different colors in these. Let me show you the back. Okay, come on, baby. Here we go. They're in great shape. They're not a new earring. All right, so, uh, I mean, they're not what you, what you would call vintage or anything, but they're definitely not a brand new earring. Okay, let's put those over here. I have another pair of enamel. These ones here are, I'm going to get them in the right thing. They're posts. And these are pretty. Again, in those same color tones, the same hues. All right, with the... Uh, pinks and the blues and the light little like salmon color enameling is great on these okay and the back is the same as the other one that I showed you with the checkerboard pattern on the back okay very very pretty all right we have another pair now we have a pair of dangle earrings here and these are very very cute um, these I can show you. There's a lot to these, a lot of working parts. These are on shepherd's hooks. All right, I'm going to hold these by the, by the shepherd's hooks. All right, there you go. All right, they have pink. Let me see here. Um, I think, I think they're, they're, um, acrylic, but one or two of those things might be glass in there and then you've got the little pearls very very articulated lots going on in these nice earrings okay let's put those here now I think we're we're pretty much done no we got one more pair of earrings and for my ladies that like big and bold all right I have big and bold here for you all right these are articulated they're going to hang all right I'll show you the tops of them. Let me show you there. That's what the top looks like. All the rhinestones are in these. They're very, very big. They're very, very bold. Okay. And just pretty. And if you look at them, they look like they're a big, heavy, heavy earring. They look... Um, they're not overly heavy, but they are not light earrings, okay? They're, um, you know, they're strictly costume, but they're not um, really thin, thin metal on these. These have a little bit of, you know, weight to them. Okay, what do I show you next? All right, I have a, um, a little charm bracelet, and it has one charm on it already. I haven't looked at this yet. I will have to do that. This almost looks like it could be possibly silver, but I'm not going to say that. All right, but I like this. This is cute. This has um, rhinestone encrusted peace sign on it. There's the dangle tag. Um, and your, your clasps are right here. Back-to-back -back heart clasps. 
This is cute. Um, let me give a measurement on this because it does appear small. From uh, um, clasp, this is a six and a quarter. So this is small. Now, I, the charm just fell off. Let me show you that by itself. There you go. So this is um, a small bracelet. All right. And uh, I mean, what you could do with this is you could add another ch um, another piece of uh, another clasp to it if you need one to make it. Well, this would fit me. So. I have a very tiny wrist. Okay, so let's put that down here. Now, I have a couple of things. One is on Buster. One is on Bertha. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay. Um, these are glass. As far as I can feel and tell, they're ice cold. And this is gold tone. And these are all rhinestones here. Okay. Um... Very, very pretty. It's got some weight. Let me show you the back. All right. It has a lobster claw clasp. Three-inch extender with a bead. This is absolutely a beautiful necklace. This is a dressy-up necklace. Okay. I like this. Let's see if I can get this in my hand right so I can give you a close-up of all the rhinestones. And uh, they're all there, Okay. You know, it's just the way it's laying in my hand. This is a very pretty, pretty necklace. Okay. And I think that these are, they're just, um, they're a white. At first I wanted to say they had a cast of pink to them, but they don't. They're, they're, they're white opaque teardrop beads. All right, so let's put this over here. And why I have Buster here, I have a very cute necklace here, which has got a knot in it, by the way. Let me see if I can get it out. Maybe, maybe not. This has got a nice, a really nice chain on it. Let's see here. There we go. All right, I'm going to show you the pendant on this. And uh, let me see if there's anything on the, it has a spring ring. And I don't see anything on that side. Okay. This is a flower that's encased in a resin. Looks like a little rosebud. Let me show you the back. All right. That's part of the rose back there. It's drilled through the top that the chain goes in. This is a pretty, pretty pendant, and it has a very, very, very fine, let me put this on Buster so you can see it, very, very fine rope chain, really nice rope chain. Um, show you that. There you go, very pretty. All right, there's your spring ring, and it's nice and clear, so you get a really, really, really good look at that flower in there. I don't think that this is new, um, to be honest with you. I think it's um, maybe, maybe vintage, all right, because it's just, it's just made very nice, very delicate, very pretty. All right, let's get through a couple more things here. All right, I don't want to go over on time. I guess I'm not going to get to the remainder of the stuff that's in the bag in this video. All right, I have a very pretty necklace here and this is made by mark m-a-r-k long 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 silver tone chain i'm going to try to put this on buster so you can see it hopefully it won't fall off all right it's got a long extender about three inches all right and it has a black enameled pendant all right, and it's costume, but um, it's pretty. Okay, and here we have a pair of 
Um, I have to look at this. Just give me a second. Pair of earrings to match. Give me a second here. Can't read that. All right. Let's see what this one says. The, the the backings are on crooked, so I'm trying to get them on right and read what it says on them. I know the earrings are not sterling, um, but I'm questioning whether the backs are sterling on on these. Probably not. All right, let me show you these earrings. They match the pendant. Very cute little set. All right, and the chain on this necklace is very long. I'll give you a close-up of it. Um, this is, oh, my God. It's, um, and that's got 12, 12 and 4, 16, probably a 32-inch long chain with a very long extender. You can see how long this chain is. And there's your pendant. There's the back. The back is the same on the earrings. All right, so we have that little set. Let me put that together over here. We're getting down to the end. All right, what do we have here? And, uh, hang on. We have a little, um, let me get this right with the extender. This is a double strand. Okay, this needs a wipe down. We have different shapes of um, amber colored beads, gold tone. This is acrylic, but it's a very nice necklace. Um, it's an antique Brioche finish. It has about a three inch extender. Double chain, not just a double thing. Each one of these is on its own chain. And each piece is not, it's not strung on um, wire or anything. Each piece was individually put on, so there's lots of articulation with this. It, you know, it's very, very nice as far as, see how it's, the movement of it is? I like that sound. Let me give you a close-up. This is a pretty necklace. You know, it's supposed to look like amber, so very pretty. All right, so we have that necklace. Now I have another one that's big. This is heavy. Even though it's acrylic, this is a heavy necklace. All right. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this on Buster or not because it's long as anything. I bet you this is 28, 29 inches. All right. Let's see if this will work. Okay. This is supposed to be like the tortoise shell. It has these, you know, and there's some patterning going through those. Here's your extender, all right, and that has a little chain link on it, just like what's up in the back of this. And then we have these really pretty acrylic beads in different colors with splatter on them. This is a pretty necklace, and like I said, it's really, really, really long. Okay, let me show you the length. Oh. It's very nice. It needs a wipe down. You know, the acrylic necklaces tend to get a little dusty, you know, but this is very nice. And, uh, the condition is really great. Just a little dusty. All right, so we have that one. Now we have one more necklace, and this is a puka. It's either puka or it's a uh, mother of pearl. Um, and it's done in three colors. This is pretty as anything. Great spring necklace. Great necklace to wear with your bathing suit. Um, we have um, the um, green, mustard yellow, and the hot pink. Alter sod it together with silver toned findings and a long three inch extender. This is going to be a choker. I can think maybe a little bit more. That's 18. Um, let's see. Wait a minute. Hang on. 16, 18, 17 inches around. 
Okay, let me give you a close-up. And it's very malleable. You know what I mean? There's a lot of, um, it's not stiff. It's really a pretty, pretty necklace. And it's bold. And it has some weight. Okay. Very pretty, pretty. All right. We got one. No, we got two more pieces. This is just a small. Um, this is, says KC on the back of it. Um, this is just a small necklace. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's pretty much at the end of the extender. All right. And gold tone. All right. These are acrylic. Again, an amber color. But then you have these pieces of abalone right here. All right. There's four pieces of abalone. Gold tone round pendant with a shell in between. Very pretty. Extender with um, a bead, two inches about. And a uh, very nice, delicate little necklace with some really pretty abalone shell on here. Very, very nice natural shell. Okay. All right. When we got one last piece. All right. Let me put Buster, let me put him over here. I'm going to have to come back with um, um, the rest of the bag. And I don't know what the heck just fell. We'll find out. Okay, this is um, a, mill a Millifori glass necklace. Um, this is very pretty. Now, I know the clasp, the spring ring. This is not new. I know the spring ring is sterling. I am not sure. I know that the chain part... It, um, it is slightly magnetic, all right, but the rest of the stuff on here is not magnetic, but this is slightly, ever so slightly. This is not magnetic. This is not magnetic, all right. Um, the length of this is, this is beautiful. Let's see, it's 11 and a half inches, 23 inch necklace. Um, very pretty, very pretty. Let me put this in my hand so you can see the beads. Lots of different beautiful, beautiful beads on this. Okay, gorgeous. All right. So we have that. Very nice. I love all the little millifori flowers. And uh, all glass. Everything is all glass. All right, so that's it. That's what I have in this video for you. I think there was some very nice stuff, and we have, um, I have this much left, okay, and I will get to that probably sometime later, and um, I will get that posted up also. So anyway, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. Um, and just remember how much I appreciate each and every one of you for joining my channel and watching my videos. I don't know. Again, I want to thank you. I'm blessed to have the channel. I'm blessed to have all you because I don't know how I would be getting through this pandemic stuff if it wasn't for all you guys. It's kept my mind going. Um, I don't go out. Um, and, uh, it's been a blessing. That's all I can say to you. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being a member of the Jewelry Pirate channel. Okay, everybody take care of yourself. And I will see you again soon with another great video. Bye-bye.